In this little video, we're going to determine the percent of the system that is solid and the percent of the system that is liquid after we've allowed this uh, um, sample of composition Z to cool for a, a while. We started up here in all melt, we dropped to the liquidus, and we got our first crystals. We know the first crystals were of A. Then we continued along the liquidus until we got to point L. I don't want to move this ruler out of place because um, I got it lined up uh, pretty well and I don't want to disturb it. All right, so I'm at L and I want to find out what percentage of this system is liquid and what is solid. I measure the line. I start at T2, I go over to L. All right, 10 millimeters, 60 millimeters, it's 50 millimeters. All right, then I measure the segment that goes from this middle line, Z, over to L. 10, 20, 23 and a half. So I take 23.5 and I divide it by 50. I multiply by 100, which of course I could do in my head, and I get 47. So I've got 47% of something, but what is it that I have? Since I measured from Z to L, and L is on the liquidus, this 47% is 47% of the solid. Now, if I work it the other way, I should get 53% of liquid. Let's see if it works. All right, my 50 is going to stay the same. My, my overall length of the line is going to stay the same. All right, so now I'm measuring from um, T2 over to Z. 10, 20, it looks like 27.5. 27.5. Divided by, oops, look, that's 275. 27.5 divided by 50 equals times 100. And I've got 55. Now, I really should have had 53. So um, my measurement here isn't as accurate uh, as I would like it. Let's see, 10, 20, 20, well, it really does look like 27 to me. So let's try the other one. The other one was, oh, it wasn't 23, it was 22.5. So let's go back and clear that and go 22.5 divided by 50 equals multiply by 100 equals, and now it works out right. I get 45% um, of the solid and 55% of the liquid. 